Everybody tells us to get out of our comfort zone, but we all know that this is so scary and we don't dare to do that. Hello everybody. We are going to dive into a fascinating topic, the truth about comfort zone and why we're so afraid about stepping out of the comfort zone. If you don't know me, my name is Vasily Sarandipoul and I'm a passionate psychologist talking about perfectionism and healthy mindset, but of course, about personal growth and development. In the next couple of minutes, we will talk about three topics. So let's start with the first one. The comfort zone. The comfort zone is our safe haven. This is where we we would like to stay forever. This is the womb. This is where we feel very safe, familiar, and in control. This is where we we have our routines and our habits. This is where we tend to to uh, fall back every time there's some unfamiliarity in our lives or some danger or some threat. This is where we feel reduced anxiety. So the familiarity factor that we said is when we, um, when our brain actually feels safe. This is where we save mental energy. We don't spend extra mental, mental energy. We are not consumed with what-if scenarios because we know everybody, everything is more or less fixed. It feels like we are wrapped in a very cozy blanket and, and it's so safe and warm and cozy in there. We know what to expect and, and we feel like we belong and of course feeling safe. Additionally, we also afraid of stepping out of the comfort zone. It's an unknown territory. This is where we start doubting about ourselves. This is where we feel anxiety. We feel uh, that maybe we will fail. All these emotions, all these fears are just the barriers that make this transition from the comfort zone to the stretch zone. A very uh, difficult decision to make. Eh? This is what prevents us from venturing outside of our comfort zone. So how to do that? Because sometimes we are craving for things outside of our comfort zone. And by craving, I mean that we are prepared and that makes it the stretch zone and not the stress zone. We are prepared for stepping out of the comfort zone. We are prepared and we are motivated. We have already seen the difficulties and the challenges and we are okay with that. We have prepared ourselves from ta for taking these extra challenges. The stretch zone is the space just outside the comfort zone. And we call it stretch zone because this is where development happens. This is where personal growth happens happens. This is where we fulfill our dreams. This is where we take risks, but for things that matter, for things that add value and meaning in our life. It's a, it's a sweet spot. Huh? It's the sweet spot that we where we face challenges and we take risks and also we push our boundaries, but without feeling completely overwhelmed and burdened by that. So what happens when we are in our stretch zone is, of course, we experience discomfort. So when we are there, what we need to do, one of the most important skills is to embrace discomfort. When we say discomfort, eh, let's make it clear that we're not talking about danger. We're not talking about immense overwhelm. We're not talking about facing threats. We're talking about discomfort. It's more like a sign that we are growing and we are just one size uh, bigger than our clothes. We need bigger clothes. Eh? So when we embrace discomfort, we open ourselves to new possibilities. We open ourselves to new experiences and new skills. And this is also the, the, the point, the stretch zone, where we develop resilience. That's another thing that happens in the stretch zone. When we make a step out of the comfort zone, and even though it's difficult, we face the difficulty, we face the challenge, and we learn a new skill, that becomes resilience. That is a learning experience. We we, we get back to ourselves at the end of the day feeling proud that we did something we were not familiar with and yet we made it. So every step out of the comfort zone strengthens your ability to handle life, to handle adversity, to, to adapt to change, to overcome obstacles. Let's talk about more about transitioning out of the comfort zone. So now that we understand the difference between comfort and, and stretch zone, 
let's explore how we can make that transition even more manageable. So first of all, it's important that you set realistic goals. And that means that you have to break down your goals. You have to have a specific timeline. You have to make sure that the steps are manageable. The goals are achievable. The expectations are realistic. Otherwise, again, you're going to go into the stress zone, but not the stretch zone. So having realistic goals helps with creating a progress and an accomplishment and, of course, boosting your your confidence. Another thing that it's important that we do when we are stepping out of our comfort zone is to seek support and accountability. You've heard the phrase, it it takes a village to raise a child, but it takes a village to take any, any kind of step out of your comfort zone. We need support system that believes in us, that encourages us, that supports our growth. Uh, we need people to share our, our um, reflections and insights, to share our aspirations, to listen to their opinion. Maybe if this uh, person is a mentor or a coach, we're actually learning even more from them. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. Eh? And also, we're having somebody to hold us accountable and offer guidance when we need it. And then the third thing that we can do when we're stepping out of our comfort zone and we are transitioning into the comfort zone, and we are already experiencing, you know, as we said before, challenges and risks, and maybe the possibility of a failure, and we're growing more resilient in that specific zone, we also need to practice self-compassion. This is where we need to be kind to ourselves through this process, through this journey. We need to understand that it's okay to make mistakes. We didn't know beforehand what we will face. It's already huge that we are taking this risk and we are getting out of our familiar zone. And it's okay if we learn through mistakes and failures, but without any harsh judgment, without blaming ourselves and without paralyzing because of all this over-analysis and rumination. This is the place for growth, as we said, and, and growth happens through positive mindset. Yes, the comfort offers safety and familiarity, but it's the stretch zone where we truly grow and thrive. But as I said in the beginning, there's a third zone that's the stress zone. What happens there? A stress zone is the area where the challenges become overwhelming. This is where sometimes life challenges become detrimental to our well-being. This is when we get a burnout. This is where we cannot handle uh, whatever happens in our life. So in that zone, maybe we have put ourselves there without knowing that we have overstretched ourselves or maybe life threw lemons at us and we were not ready to make a lemonade. So if you are there at some point in your life, first of all, what we need to do is practice self-care. If for any reason you cannot make it easier, and I'm talking about the practical challenges of that zone, at least take care of yourself. Self-care becomes essential at this zone. Make sure that you prioritize activities that help you recharge and restore your balance. Uh, Make sure that you have support. Uh, Make sure that you exercise, you practice mindfulness, you eat well, you sleep well. Uh, You find quality time with your loved ones. Even if the rest is not able to change, at least soon, take care of yourself in order to be able to better navigate these challenges and continue with your growth. Another thing that we can do at that moment is understand our limits. You don't need to push yourself further. You don't need to have this perfectionistic mindset that we have talked very often, convincing yourself that this is where you're supposed to be. It's okay if you struggle and you have no chance to take a break. You don't need to convince that it's that life is a, is a torturing journey and you need to punish yourself. Recognize when you are experiencing excessive stress, burnout or mental exhaustion, because that's crucial for your well-being. So it's okay sometimes to take a step back, to quit even, eh? and it's not quitting with a defeating um, connotation of the word, but more about taking a step back and putting this perfectionistic restlessness aside. Reassess whether this is the path for you, whether this is something that in the long run it's going to give you joy and meaning, and understand that this is 
too overwhelming and you don't need, you don't deserve to go through something so overwhelming for such a long time. Remember, balance is the key here between stretching yourself and taking a break, getting out of your comfort zone and taking care of yourself, recognizing your limits and also taking one step at a time. How was this? Did it make sense? The understanding between the comfort zone, the stretch and the stress zone. This is something that we need to pay more attention and to understand where we are at each point of our journey. Stepping out of the comfort zone can open the world of possibilities and, and chances and, and resilience and growth, as we said before. But of course, we need to practice self-care, healthy boundaries, self-compassion, so that we can have this growth journey as smooth as possible. Let me know how about your stress, stress, or comfort zone, which zone are you at the present moment? Until next time, take good care of yourself.